How's it going? This is my Ducati Scrambler um, 800. And today we are taking off this stock fender and replacing it with this Competition Works fender eliminator kit. It's gonna look pretty sharp. All right, so first um, you're gonna unplug the plate light under here and then we're going to remove these bolts um, these two are a six millimeter and this one is a five millimeter now we're gonna just have to see where this cable's getting caught up some kind of cable clip right here. I can't really see it all that well. Oh, it's just a little Allen. Okay, that's disconnected. Now we should be able to pull this rear fender off. Just like that. So in your fender, Ducati has decided to put as many different fasteners as possible. And these are all Torx. These are all Torx bits in here. They also decided to throw a singular cable tie in there. I saw that. Everything else held up with really nice pieces, you know, custom cut pieces and everything like that. And they get to the end, they're like, oh, uh, let's cable tie it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> now that was what we're gonna need because we gotta reinsert those, I assume. It's not just some rubber mounts. Okay. So there's a couple rubber mounts, then we're just gonna flip it up. And there's your mounts for your Oh, eliminator. perfect, okay. Okay, now we have to put the plate light on to the new. So I think this is how they want it mounted. You gotta take these little stanchions off the tail light, and then I believe, it's hard to see in a picture. It's a crappy black and white photo, but I'm fairly confident that's how they want you to mount the new tail light. Using the stock screws, you're just gonna screw it back through this uh, bracket into the tail light. All right, that looks right to me. All right, next, tail light flipped up. We got that. Yep, and then we're gonna... Root here, what does that mean? Okay, so that's your wire. <laughs> they want you to root okay. the wire through here. And then root it through there, and then through here. Soon. Let me see how they want it rooted. I mean, they don't really give too much. Tail light, root through here. It's yeah, that's where I got it. Okay. But the plug is all the way down here on the swing arm. So we're gonna have to peel this plug back a little bit. Uh, root license plate light wire through opening between rubber, tail light mount, and down yep. right side of sub frame. Figure F. Plug in near swing arm pivot. Zip tie is desired for exhaust clearance. Yeah, but this plug is on this side, so yeah. I just gotta, I gotta feed that back a little bit. But we have an issue. They didn't send the right bolts. So to be continued? Well, we're still gonna, uh, we'll route that wire. Okay. So Competition Works didn't send the correct bolts with the kit. And the brackets made great, um, but they didn't send the hardware to connect it to the frame. So I'm gonna go out and just pick up a couple of um, metric cap heads or something like that. They need to be about half as long as these. These are off of the, the original fender. So I'll go out, get new ones, and mount this up. Um, I'm gonna send an email to Computation Works just to you know, make sure that I'm not missing something or if their kits are messed up, I'm not sure. We'll have to finish this up tomorrow, go out, run out, grab parts, but not a big deal, just a small inconvenience. So we're gonna feed this up through here. Oh, are you kidding me? There's another P-clip. Okay. We are actually gonna feed this up the other side. Because we can. Because we can, because it actually comes across there. Perfect. Um, okay. You're gonna laugh. There's a P-clip here. Does that mean we have to undo it? Yep. Because I'm gonna take it right off the swing arm. There's no reason for it to be on the swing arm now because it's just gonna stress the wire out because we're taking it off okay. the swing arm and then back up. I understand. So if we can take it off of the swing arm, <clears throat> we're gonna do that. So n nothing else has to go back on that? On this? 
Yeah. Nope. Oh, that's that. That's it. It's gone. It's, we've relocated everything you need up here. That's why I said get a tail tidy. It's going to look a lot better. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, nice, right? Yeah. So, uh, honestly, that's, clean. This, that's why most people, it's the first modification that they do is a tail tidy because it really cleans up the bike. Okay, so we got that out. All right. P-clip. Do you need those P-clips? Um, they're good to save, just in case you ever wanted to return it to stock. So your taillight connection's held on with a couple P-clips on the swing arm. It doesn't tell you this in the instructions, but they're there. Um, it wants you to run this up along this side underneath the subframe. So we're gonna pull this back as far as we can, and then tuck it in under this plastic and then run it up along the subframe underneath here, and then it will zip tie any spare wire we have up there. So let's see where we can mount this. How hard is this piece of plastic to take off? So now watch, check this out. We're gonna take this side panel off. And that should give us access, definitely at the beginning of the year. So now our side panel's off, and we can take this here. I'm just gonna trace it back. We fed it all the way back up into here. So we're gonna feed You want that. this back, right? Yeah, we're gonna feed that back across. Okay, there we go. Now we can route it down the inside here. Now I see. Um. So now we're gonna take one of these nicely supplied clips. Zip ties. We'll zip tie that down here. We're gonna go right around this. Just use that to tidy it all up. Clip this. Clip that. All right, there's that. Now I just need to put this back into position. So Competition Works doesn't tell you to do this in the instructions, but take off this side panel. It's two bolts underneath here, and then this one right here. And what that allows you to do is get into where the wiring harness is behind this, and you can tuck your tail light wire in tight to your frame and keep it away from your exhaust at the same time. Plus, you cannot tell. It looks totally factory. Uh, so that's definitely what I suggest to do. All right, so Competition Works didn't send the correct bolts uh, to attach this to the bike. I don't know if that's uh, Ducati changed what's in there, but reading through the paperwork, it says that it was supposed to come with two eight millimeter by 16 bolts. It didn't. So I just went out and got a couple of eight by 16 cap heads. These are stainless steel. Since we live in New Hampshire, rust, salt on the roads early, shit like that. Um, I just went with stainless so we don't have any issues with uh, being able to take this back off if we need to. So really simple. There's just two captive, <clears throat> captive welded nuts. Underneath the bike, so we're just going to put the framework up there. Start one, and line that up. Get that other one going. Just do those finger tight, and then six millimeter Allen. Snug those up. And just like that, it's installed. Um, even though they didn't send me the correct bolts, this is actually a really good system. It's well made. <clears throat> the plate is very, uh, the plate holder is very thick, it's, it's secure. They did a good job with it. Uh, forgetting two bolts is really a minor inconvenience. It cost me five bucks and I went with stainless steel, so that's why it cost me that much. It could have been two bucks if I went with standard. Um, it's easy to install. The instructions are not great. They're very vague. They're very vague. It's just kind of pictures and it's not explained very well. Um, but as far as actually installing it, if you have a brain, you can figure it out. Uh, and it's, it's fairly easy. Um, so that's on. And now let's take a look at it from the rear compared to the original. So the original rear fender, while not bad looking, is definitely bulky. It makes the bike look a lot 
longer, oddly enough, than it is. I think just because it seems like it extends all that plastic bodywork. But once you take that off, it really changes the bike, particularly from the side. It really makes the bike look a lot shorter. And uh, I think it improves the looks quite a bit. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, it's angled slightly, but it's not enough that I think you're gonna have any issues with the cops. So that's it for the uh, competition works. Fender Eliminator kit for the Ducati Scrambler.